Hello, my name is Loretta Asbury and I am a health communication specialist in ATSDR, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Module 8, Communication of Findings and Recommendations. This module is the last one in an eight module series about ATSDR's method to evaluate exposures to hazardous substances known as the PHA process. By now, you have learned most of the skills needed to conduct the health assessment from previous modules. These include gathering quality data involving the community in the assessment process, evaluating exposure pathways, identifying potential contaminants of concern, and determining if site-related exposures could be harmful. In Module 8, you will learn to clearly communicate the findings and recommendations of the PHA. Your goal will be to develop health messages that people can easily understand and trust. Because we conduct PHAs to protect people's health, we need to provide detailed information in a clear and understandable way. To write your scientific analysis for the public, you might wonder, how do I best explain the health assessment findings and recommendations to the public? What are the best guidelines and tools to help me write clear messages? And is there a way to test if my messages are effective before sharing them with the community? Module 8 will provide answers to these questions. You will learn about the importance of writing clear health messages and about guidelines, resources, and tools available to prepare effective communication materials for the public. You will also study how to use appropriate visual elements to help readers understand the findings and conclusions in your documents. Finally, you will apply clear writing techniques to practice developing health messages for the course's case study, the Gala Lumber Company site. Okay, let's start Module 8.